And that's what I think about this whole thing. It's just, it's so crazy. It's just, it didn't have to happen that way. There were better ways to do it than go out and try and take those boys by force. This was a very significant historic event that occurred up there. It altered a lot of things in Arizona. So trying to make sense of it is a natural thing. Well, it was an incredible event for which we don't really have explanations, but what caused it, what led up to it. And it's one of these events that just seems to erupt, and obviously it didn't, it grew out of a number of things, but we don't know what those are. Those men, they already knew that this, this could very possibly be our last, our last breath here. They didn't want to do it, but they did it because that's what you did. I've been in some rough country all over Arizona, and I would say the Galeros are as rough as you can get. A posse were formed, many of them not even authorized. They would just guys get together and say, let's go out and find those guys. A lot of anger a lot of animosity. My dad, in essence, said, this is a terrible, terrible thing that has come into our lives. I have been deprived of the Father. You have been deprived of your life in this stinking, rotten prison. I mean, it's Arizona's deadliest gunfight, more deadly than the shootout at the OK Corral. But we really don't know what happened. And as soon as you start start looking at it, we had four people killed, uh, we had this huge manhunt, but the motivations are just not there. It's as if the event just springs out of nowhere.